In this video we're going to learn how to convert Z scores into actual scores and what we're going to do is we're just going to get right into the example. In example one it says the results from the HSC standard maths examination are normally distributed. The average mark was 45% with a standard deviation of 14%. Now there are two parts to this question, question A and B, and there are two methods we can use to to solve either one. One method is to label the Z scores on our bell curve and the second method is to use the formula. So I'm going to show you both methods. You'll find that when questions get more challenging you really have to use the formula. So we'll start by labeling the Z scores on our bell curve over here at the right. So first of all I would like to label the mean. The average mark or the mean was 45% in the exam and that has a Z score of 0. Our standard deviation is 14% so as we move to the right we're going to add on 14 each time. So 45 plus 14 comes to 59 that's a Z score of positive 1 and 59 plus 14 gives us 73 that's a Z score of positive 2 and 73 plus 14 is 87 that's a Z score of positive 3. As we move to the left we're going to subtract our standard deviation of 14% each time. So 45 minus 14 is 31 that's a Z score of negative 1. 31 minus 14 is 17 that's a Z score of negative 2 and 17 minus 14 is 3 that's a Z score of negative 3. Now I've just realized I should have written the percentage symbol next to all of these numbers here. All right, let's look at question A. It says what mark did Sarah get in her examination if her Z score was positive 2? We can see that a Z score of positive 2 lines up with a mark of 73%. So her mark is 73%. Now that was nice and simple because our Z score was a nice whole number. If it's ever a decimal it becomes harder. It means that you have to use the formula. So I'd like to show you how to use the formula in question A as well. Z equals X minus X bar over S. Now for question A we're trying to find the mark that Sarah got. And that basically means the score or x. We're trying to find the value of x. We know what z is, we know what x bar is, and we know what the standard deviation is. So we're going to have to do some rearranging here. But first of all, let's substitute values in place of our pronumerals. We know that z or the z score is positive 2. So we'll write that as 2. And we don't know x. So we'll just keep it as x. We don't know what the score is yet. And then we're going to subtract x bar, x bar being the mean, and the average mark or the mean was 45%. So x minus 45, all over the standard deviation, which is 14%. All right, so we've got to rearrange this formula and find x. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides by the same number. We're going to multiply them by 14, which is going to cancel the 14 at the bottom. 2 times 14 is 28. So we're going to have 28 equals x minus 45. We're now going to add 45 to both sides. The reason we're doing this is because it will cancel out the 45 on the right and 28 plus 45 actually comes to 73. So we get 73 equals x meaning that x equals 73 percent or that Sarah got a mark of 73%. I know there will be people who are, who are looking at this going, I just don't want to use the formula. It looks really challenging. And if you can get away without using the formula, that's great. But sometimes you're just going to have to do it. Anyway, let's now move on to question B. It says, what mark did George get in his examination if his Z score was negative 1.5? Now, there isn't negative 1.5 on our bell curve but we know that it goes exactly halfway between the negative 1 and the negative 2. So we can quite easily work it out by figuring out what number is halfway between 17 
and 31%. And we can do that quite easily by adding them together and then dividing them by 2 at the end. So bringing up my calculator, I'm going to add 17 to 31 and I'm going to put it in brackets which forces the calculator to add it before we divide it by 2. This comes out to 24. So George got a mark of 24% in his examination. So I'll now show you how to do it using the formula Z equals X minus X bar over S. Remembering that we're trying to find X representing the mark that George got. We know Z. Z is our Z score, which is negative 1.5. We don't know x. We do know x bar. We do know the mean or average is 45. So x minus 45. And at the bottom of our fraction, our standard deviation s is 14%. So I'm going to start by multiplying both sides by the same number. I'm going to multiply them by 14 to cancel the 14 at the bottom. Negative 1.5 times 14. What's that going to give me? Negative 1.5 times 14 gives me negative 21. So on the left I have negative 21 and then on the right I have x minus 45 and what I want to do here is I want to add 45 to both sides which will cancel out the 45 on the right and negative 21 plus 45 negative 21 plus 45 gives me 24. So x equals 24%, which is exactly the same as what I got before. George got a mark of 24% in his exam. Anyway, that concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.